whenever we go out in an Indian restaurant, a chicken lover would order a chicken tikka without looking at the menu. Trust me, it is my favorite too. But having it with the usual combination of that same marination, I want to make it different this time with adding a zinc and a kick with the Japanese wasabi. Hi guys, I'm Afraz and I'm here cooking some classic dishes just for you. And today on the list is wasabi chicken tikka. I'm going to start with making the lovely marination for our chicken tikka. So first in goes hung yogurt. So the ingredients are quite similar to the chicken tikka. Next I'm going to add the lovely wasabi. This will give a really good zinc. It is very pungent like a mustard and horse radish. Next I'm going to add salt. Some crushed black pepper. Some lemon juice. And for the color, I'm going to add a bit of spinach puree. And then just mix all this together nicely. I'm going to add some cream. The color is perfect that I wanted. We don't want it too dark, otherwise it will look like a Hariali chicken tikka. Finally, I'm going to add some garam masala or you can add some allspice powder. Finally, some oil. And our marination is ready. Let's add the chicken. I'm using leg boneless of the chicken. As always, used in a chicken tikka because it has a lot of fat in it which give moisture to the chicken. So after adding the chicken, I'm going to mix it with all the marinade. The spinach has given a really lovely color. So this is done now. I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator for around one to two hours until the chicken is nicely marinated. So it's been two hours, our chicken is getting marinated in the refrigerator. But to skewer it, let's cut some vegetable. So here I have yellow capsicum. So I'm going to cut this into cubes. I'm cutting yellow and red capsicum to give a nice color onto the skewer. This is done. Let's get our chicken from the refrigerator. Lovely. So I'm going to start skewering this. First in goes a yellow bell pepper. I'm using this nice bamboo skewer. And then let's put the chicken in. Then a red capsicum. And then again chicken. The skewer is short, so I'm not going to load it with a lot of chicken. Just two pieces on one skewer. And also you can apply a little marinade on the peppers. And in the similar manner, I'm going to skewer the rest. So I've skewered the chicken. Next, I'm going to take a baking tray and I'm going to line it with an aluminum foil. And then I'm going to drizzle some oil. And then let's just place the chicken over it. You can do this in a tandoor if you have at home, but I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for around 10 to 12 minutes. Wow, this looks lovely. That's perfectly charred like a tandoori. Only thing the difference of flavor. Occasionally I've basted this with oil. So this is done, let's quickly plate. I'm going to set this at the side. So now let's dress the plate. Over here I have some mint chutney mixed with mayo, which I'm going to put it on one side. And then with a the comb, I'm just going to... And then I'm going to place some onion rings, just for the decoration. Some cherry tomatoes, which are sliced. And some micro beans. That's it. And now let's place our lovely wasabi chicken tikka. So there you go, a lovely and delicious wasabi chicken tikka. So this time you can surprise your taste bud with this kick of wasabi. 
So now you don't have to go in a restaurant and order the chicken tikka if you want to try this one. Just make it at home. Do subscribe, share, like and comment below.